Hello, everybody. I'm about to do something incredibly stupid. I'm about to play my first ever mission of Phasmophobia by myself. For two reasons. One, well, the first part of my Halloween costume arrived, and I wanted a, a reason to wear it, no matter what it was. And for some reason, this is what I chose. But two, is if you look up the exact definition of Phasmophobia, I have it. I've said many a times, I don't believe ghosts are real, but I do not want proven wrong. I chose a roadhouse. They suggest two people going in by myself. Let's do this. Okay, we're here. So, if I've done my research correctly, I know that when you do this by yourself, it's important that you do everything as quickly and as efficient as possible. So I'm not going to be messing around. I'm going to be doing everything I can to get in, get out, and I will do my best to do these objectives. We have smudge sticks, dirty water, and witness a ghost event. I'm hoping we don't have to do objective four by myself, um, but on the off case, I end up seeing one. At least it'll be marked off. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and get in there. I like to start with the thermometer, a flashlight, and um, the camera. The flashlight is obviously because this, you know, it's really dark. The um, camera is so once I find the room, um, I am able to uh, set the camera up and immediately check for ghost or. And just so you know, my local chat is always on. There's a bone, so we have bone evidence. Yeah, it's a little bit colder in here. It could just be the hallway, though. So. Yeah, he's right here. I literally just heard him take a step. Okay. Um, we're going to set this camera up. Here we turn it on. And let's go. Let's get out of here. Honestly, since this is solo, I'm very happy we found the room as quickly as we did. And it's being very, very aggressive very quickly. So I need to see if it likes whenever people are by themselves. Yeah, look at that activity already. Oh my gosh. So, uh, it will respond to anyone. So with that kind of activity so quickly, um, and the fact that I was by or able to react to anybody and it wasn't enticed by the fact that I was alone is a really big indicator to me that we might be dealing with something like a demon. And that's honestly no bueno. But it did do us a favor. It, it touched the door. So at the very least, we can get in there and we can now use the UV light on that door and see if we can um, see any fingerprints. We should still have time left before it gets angry at us, or at least I hope we do. Because if it is a demon, it will attack for absolutely no reason. So we need to make sure we get in and get out ASAP with this. I should have brought um, handprint. Okay, let's throw the book down. Uh, I don't think we're gonna be able to see it no matter where. And there's writing. Oh my God, we're getting through this quick. Okay, so we have writing, we have fingerprints, and now all we need to do is we need to see what the last bit of evidence can be so we know what to check for. Um, I'll do it by the monitor, so that way I can be double checking for ghost orbs while I do this, um, even though it's gonna take up most of my screen here. We have fingerprints, we have ghost writing, and it could be a spirit or a revenant. So let's go see. Uh, a revenant would be EMF 5. A spirit would be spirit box. So let's bring the spirit box and see if we can get it to talk. We still have a minute and 50 seconds. Uh, let's see if we can get it to speak into the spirit box, and if we can, then we know that it's, I believe, a spirit. And if we can't, it's probably a revenant. 
And uh, this was extremely fast, and I'll be really proud of myself. Let's see. Are you here? How old are you? Okay, so it's, it's clearly walking still. I heard it take a step, but it's not speaking into the spirit box. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna ditch the spirit box and we're gonna go grab, um, oh, what was the other thing it could be? Oh, I forget. What was it? I don't know. Let's grab the camera for the bone evidence. Oh, an EMF five. That's right. So throw this down. We already got that. So let's turn this on. No, 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 no. Grab it. Um, let's get a picture of the bone, pick up the bone. And then um, see if we can get an EMF five. Make sure. Up the bone, AB. Uh, oh, there we go. See if we get EMF five. Three. Give me a sign. Okay, so that's unfortunate. We have EMF three. It's still really early on though, and we couldn't get it to speak into the spirit box. So the speed run is kind of ruined because we're left unsure what it's gonna be. And normally, if I would have got one right there, I would have accepted it and left and been like, that was solid as hell. But since the speed run is ruined and we don't have all of the evidence, <sighs> Unfortunately, I am going to stick around a little bit longer so we can confirm the evidence, even though everything in my being is saying to leave right now. I might seem composed right now, and you might think, oh, wow, he's doing really good, but I have to be honest with you. I'm On the inside, I am panicking, um, and if we have any really big problems, trust me, you'll, you'll, you'll see me freak out. Are you here? Where are you? How old are you? He is not being kind about this last uh, bit of evidence. Height. I don't even know its name. That's the crazy part. I've done all this without even getting its name. I forgot I had the EMF reader. I could have just got readings while I was in there, but I, I had to leave. I was like panicking. Okay. This is our last entry. Feel like nothing. Ooh, dirty water. Too bad I don't have the camera. Still EMF two. Man, this is driving me nuts. It has to be EMF two, or it has, or it has to be EMF five, or it has to be the spirit box. And he's reacting to neither. Oh, okay. This is what I'm going to do. Since it filled up the sink, we're going to get a picture of it. You get a picture of the dirty water. And... I don't know, man. Let's try the spirit box one last time. If, if it doesn't work, though, I'm leaving. I promise. Like... I'm getting on edge the longer we do this. Make sure that counts. I'm not checking it in the house. I don't have the balls. I, I'm too fucking scared. can literally feel stuff crawling on my back okay uh there we go okay it counted so we got bone dirty water god yeah or we're gonna test this one last time and i'm leaving actually hold on 
I'm not I'm not I'm not even gonna risk it. Let me see where my sanity's at. If I have good sanity, I'll try this. If my sanity is like 70 or below, I might not. 89, we're doing it, we're doing it, we're doing it. Oh god. Also, for those that don't know, this is amateur. I, I'm still pretty new at this game. I'm level like four. Are you here? How old are you? I'm gonna go with EMF5. Um, and the reason I'm gonna go with EMF5 is because sometimes the EMF readings are really low and then they get higher as the game goes on. So let's see if I'm correct here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go to EMF5. It's a revenant. Let's see what kind of things revenants do. A slow but violent ghost uh, will attack indiscriminately, has been rumored to travel at significantly high speeds. A revenant will travel, yeah. Weakness, hiding from the revenant will cause it to move more easily. But this doesn't sound like what we're dealing with. And ugh, what about the spirit? Uh, most common ghost you will come across, very powerful and dangerous, no unique strengths. Using smudge sticks on a spirit will stop it from attacking for a long period of time. And I don't know, because it wouldn't interact. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stick with my gut, though. We're going to say a revenant, and the reason we're going to say a revenant is because, as I said, EMF sometimes starts really low, and then as the game continues and the lower your sanity gets, it'll spike up to, like, five. So, that being said, let's see if, as a solo paranormal investigator, I have successfully chosen Revenant, and we've got this correct or not. This was terrifying, by the way. Am I proud of myself? Yes. Whether I get this right or wrong, I'm happy I was capable of doing this. Ah, let's just leave. I, but I don't know if I can do this anymore. I might try to do more of these. We'll see. But this, this was difficult. Welcome back. It was a revenant. So there you go. Okay. Yes. 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 And fifty-five bucks. Let's go. So, yes. Um, I, my 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 theory was correct. It was a um, low EMF that was going to rise gradually. Which, by the way, I'm also a little bit more terrified now knowing that that was a revenant and could have killed me at any moment. But my sanity stayed high because I moved quick. And I got the job done solo. Which, my god, is way harder on my real life sanity than I ever would have guessed. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.